It is always, always good to know that a game has a movie that doesn't absolutely suck. <laughs> Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's your host, the smoothest fingers in the gaming industry, ZaAZ, the man, the myth, uh, the legend, uh, himself, I'm, I'm back, I guess you'd say, I don't know if I'm a myth, but I, you can prove I'm here, you know, you can touch me, feel me, you know, as Jesus said to his disciples, <laughs> alright, look man, welcome back, hope you guys had a wonderful day, over the weekend, Mortal Kombat dropped a movie, yes, Mortal Kombat dropped a movie, I was gonna play the game, I was gonna go out, get it, play it, get some gameplay for you guys, but I decided I hadn't done a face cam or I haven't done a face cam video where I just talked to you guys and I kind of want to do that and go over it and kind of show the trailer of the video, so I want to continue to go with that. I do want to play Mortal Kombat again at some point. I played it a little bit earlier when it first came out. I just haven't played Mortal Kombat. Just don't have the time really to play it, but I enjoy it. I played it a lot and I kind of played it more off camera than on camera because I just, you know, just don't talk about it much. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about the Mortal Kombat movie. I wanted to get my thoughts on it. I wanted to kind of express myself here because I really, I got some strong emotions with this one. I grew up on Mortal Kombat. It was one of the first games that I had played. It wasn't the first game, but it was one of the very first fighting games that I enjoyed. And I do love Mortal Kombat. Not only do I love the games and the lore itself, but I really did like the movies. I'm one of those rare people who really grew up on those movies. Some of us are old enough or at least we're young enough at the time, I guess I should say, to remember those movies and how classic they were and actually how trash <laughs> those movies are really bad, bro. Now that I watched them again when I got older, oh my gosh, they're terrible. But I really did enjoy them. It was just something fun and something unique. It's kind of like Transformers for me where I don't care about the story. I really just want to make sure that the characters are accurate and that they fight a lot. That's really it. And that there's some accurate depictions to what's going on in the game. So what do I think about this movie? Do, do I think it's good? Did I enjoy it? Is it something that I feel like it's worth your time? And if you're a fan of the games or a supporter of the games, excuse me, would you really enjoy it and does it match up with how the games portray that? And the first thing that I want to say is it could have been a lot worse, uh, but it could have been a lot better. Now, let's be honest, man. There wasn't a lot that I was expecting out of a Mortal Kombat movie. If you guys have seen Annihilation, it really can't get any worse than that. The budget for that film, holy shit. Garbage. Garbage. But at the same time, this movie definitely, definitely has some of the flaws that the other ones had. And that flaw is... The cheesiness of it, the speed of it, the tempo of it, and the story of it. I mean, the main character in this, what is his name? Cade? Cage? I don't fucking know. Whatever the guy's name was. He's literal. His literal ability was plot armor. I found that hilarious. I thought it was pretty funny. However, come on, man. Like, why was he even in the movie? Just make Liu Kang the main person like we did in the old ones. Call it a day. There's no reason to mix up the formula if you can't spice it up. But anyways, whatever, I'll leave it there. One thing that I did enjoy about this movie was that Sub-Zero wasn't some hero. Usually Sub-Zero is the good guy and Scorpion's the bad guy or vice versa. You know, you really kind of get that differentiate, differentiations. I couldn't even say the word correctly there. In different stories and different games. But in this one, it was nice to see Sub-Zero really feared and you really got to see his full power on display. But again, I wish they would have kind of brought in Scorpion a little bit earlier. I feel like the best dynamic in this movie is Sub-Zero versus Scorpion, which let's just be honest, that's really what Mortal Kombat is. I was a little disappointed with how Raiden was portrayed. Now, I don't care about race, you guys. If you're familiar with me on this channel, or you're familiar with my content, you understand I don't really get into none of that stuff and I don't care. It's stupid. However, if you're going to depict somebody in a movie that's based off something, right? It's like making Frodo black in The Lord of the Rings. It just doesn't make sense. Raiden has never been Asian or Chinese, at least from the points that I've seen, or Japanese, whatever it is that he is in this movie. I've never seen that in the games. I've never really played a Raiden with that. But that being said, I would have overlooked it if he would have been... A vi vital, and when I say vital, I want to say this again, vital part of the movie, which he's not. They're fighting and doing a whole bunch of things, and Raiden is nowhere to be found. And Raiden is one of the coolest characters in Mortal Kombat. Don't know what the hell happened there. He doesn't have his own fight scene where he just fights Shang Tsung and him and Shang Tsung go back and forth. It doesn't happen. Raiden was a waste of time in this movie, and it absolutely pissed me off for that. that that's my biggest gripe with this movie. Another thing that I have, and it was alluded to, and I won't get into spoilers for this, but I will give you some uh, knowledge towards it, is Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage isn't in this movie. 
to an extent. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. He's not in this movie, and I don't understand how you have a Mortal Kombat movie without Johnny Cage. I just don't understand that. Kano was great in this movie. He was the comic relief, and the actor who portrayed him was really good. I really thought that Kano did a fucking superb job in this movie. I really, really liked it. And I, I felt like the dynamic... Uh, between him and another character, which I won't spoil, that you end up seeing and how Kano ends up, you know, uh, flip-flopping a little bit with some things. I really enjoyed that, and both of those characters had a great dynamic that I really liked. But Johnny Cage should have been the comic relief as well as Kano with the comic relief. I just don't understand how you have Sonya Blade and you don't have Johnny Cage off the rip. But again, there may be another movie, so we'll see how that goes. And there was a little bit of hinting to Johnny Cage in the movie. I just won't spoil it for you uh, right here in this video. I might do a spoiler talk where we'll go over that and stuff, but we'll leave that for another video. One of my best things that I liked about this movie that I really enjoyed was the gore and was the fighting. I mean, it was superb, it was great. There was so much better than the old movies. But then again, it's been almost 20 years since those old movies. I mean, let's just be honest here. Uh, 20 or more years, actually, man. It's actually going on 30 years now, to be honest. Uh, or 25 years now, probably. Probably even more, I don't know. I don't even remember when they came out. I just know it was in the 90s. It was a lot better, and it was cool to see how the visual effects uh, got better over time. Seeing Sub-Zero back in the 1995 version, I'm pretty sure it was, I, I give or take. And then seeing Sub-Zero do his visual effects in this movie, it was a lot better. Seeing Scorpion's dagger come out or him throwing it, it's not like a little reptile or something that comes out of his hand and it's like fucking green screened onto it. It was so cool to see, man. And it was a lot better. However, again, I need to portray this and say this again. It feels like this was rushed. It doesn't feel like at any point in time in the movie does the movie collectively get together and say, this is the identity that we want to have. There's allusions to a tournament and the tournament never happens. How the hell do you have a Mortal Kombat movie and you don't have a tournament? Just beyond me there. How the hell do you kill so many characters off in the first movie? I understand some people have to die. There has to be fatalities. But I don't feel like it sets up for the next movie uh, in a particularly good way. Then again, none of the movies have ever set themselves up in a good way. So, I mean, why should this be any different? All in all, with this movie, uh, the only gripes that I really have, other than Raiden uh, being uh, how Raiden is portrayed, and then Raiden not having a vital point in this movie, the last thing that I was have to say would be my gripe, other than the Johnny Cage thing as well, would have to be Liu Kang not playing more of a vital role. Ro, Liu Kang's my favorite character. That's the one I always used. I loved him. That's how I grew up watching him. Uh, and I felt like he was really, really good in this movie. And the actor did very well. Him and Kung Lao, that dynamic was great. I don't see, think we've seen enough time with Kung Lao and Liu Kang to really build the dynamic. But then again, I don't feel like we need that. Because Liu Kang and Kung Lao have been in every Mortal Kombat game since almost the beginning of time. And we all know this story at this point. I feel like this game... Or excuse me, <laughs> this game, this movie was a lot of fan service or supporter service. You guys know me in this fan word, uh, the supporter service. And I really did appreciate it. There were some funny moments like Luke Kang doing the same move over and over again on Kano or the uppercut reference. I mean, those are just hilarious and funny. Some of the fatalities uh, just stuck out to me. And I was like, oh, OK, that was that was a cool one. I like that one, uh, such as Luke Kang's uh, dragon coming out of nowhere. But again, I'll save the spoilers and everything like that for another video. We'll talk about that later. But again. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Have you seen it? Are you planning on seeing it? And uh, if you did see it, please let me know what you thought about it. Overall, I would have to say that this movie is like better than the other ones, I guess. But it's, it's still not a good movie. It's not one of the movies where I would say, hey, man, go watch it. You got to go see it. It's all right. I mean, it's a good time. Uh, I think Jeremy John said it best. It's good when you're drunk. <laughs> it's okay. It's something. I probably will never watch that movie again. But the fight scene between Scorpion and Sub-Zero was really nice. Really good to see. And some of the other fight scenes were really good. But again, this movie struggles from pacing. It struggles from a lot of other issues. And again, it could have been better. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What do you guys think? Is this something that you're interested in? And again... I always see you guys for another movie review like six months later when something decent comes out. <laughs> bless up as always. God bless. And I'll see you guys in the next one.